Okay. Well, good morning, everybody. I guess it's afternoon in the Midwest and East Coast time zones, but thank you guys for joining us. I'm Diane Henry, and I have um, a family of two boys and my husband, Jeff, and we are currently living in our RV, um, almost at our two-year mark, um, up here in Bend, Oregon currently. And I'm a Y Movement coach. I've been doing this for about six months. And it's just been a huge joy to be able to um, just share this gift with people. Um, I love uh, all things health related. And just a little bit about what Y Movement is, is it's um, a program that's dedicated to really connecting people to their individual why. Um, and we provide resources such as um, fitness guides, nutrition guides, and awesome recipe books. Um, and just this amazing community that is so positive and uplifting to help people move towards achieving their overall wellness goals. So myself, I am a one-on-one -on -one coach and I provide that support um, along with this group of passionate people that I get to work with. And the reason we're here today is to hear from some of the amazing people that have done these challenges. And so I'm going to stop talking and we're going to just get to hear directly from them. So I'm actually going to um, just start with where people are on the screen. So April, you're the closest one. So I'm going to have you unmute yourself and just go ahead and share about your experience and your why with us today. Uh, good morning. My name is April. Well, still morning here in Hawaii and I chose the beach background just so you know where I was. Um, I have uh, four kids and two grandchildren. <clears throat> um, I am a slightly retired substitute teacher vaccinator helper uh, with some of the COVID-19 uh, vaccine clinics that we're holding here in Hawaii. Uh, I don't give shots, but I do the data entry. Uh, anyway, um, I joined uh, t the last two, and one was the shirt that I'm wearing now. I don't think you can see it, but it's the Y Movement shirt that I got. And uh, my why was to kind of be around for my grandchildren, and my husband is nearing uh, retirement age, um, and we're going to become empty nesters. Our youngest child just turned 18. Talking about college, so what she's done, uh, we feel like our responsibilities as parents is over. <laughs> and so we're looking forward to just being around uh, the grandkids. Uh, currently, one is here and one is in California, so there may be some travel, and that's something that we want to do together. So that was kind of my why. Uh, well, it evolves. And so just to let you know, it does. Cause at first, my first why was, I just want to do the challenge and I just want to like be committed to doing it, nothing else. And, and I'll be honest with my first challenge. That was, that was my why besides, you know, wanting to be healthier and be around for my, my family and my friends. Um, and so, uh, the first, uh, why movement challenge that I did, um, it was a lot more about the workouts, um, you know, with COVID, my gym had shut down and, you know, just, I didn't want to do it <laughs> on my own. And so it was good that now I knew I had a community doing the same things with me. And so it was about more about the exercise and some of the food. And that was something else I was trying to work up to is I never feel like I'm a very confident cook. Um, I, I don't do that much cooking. My husband is a better cook. Like I'm one of those people. It's like, I follow the recipe and like, if you don't say specifically what it is, where it goes, uh, I'm toast. <laughs> I cannot improvise. That is not me. <laughs> My husband, different story. He can do that. So, um, it was a lot more about the exercise. The second time I did the, um, Y movement, um, I did focus a lot more on the food. And so it became easier uh, as far as, um, you know, making the dishes. And, and I, I will say that I did have um, food uh, pre-made for me. Like I did, I ordered like vegetarian meals. That's, that's the route I was wanting to go. And uh, they're good and it made it easier and it took that pressure off of me. 
and it made it easier to be committed to all the things that I was doing. Um, it's really a great uh, opportunity to do it with a group of people. And I appreciated that Diane would check in with me, you know, once a week and say, how are we doing? You know, are, what are we struggling with? Where are our victories? Um, and it helps. It really does. And she has so many resources and different tools that can help um, for you to either keep on track, keep track of the food you're eating. Um, I invested in a gallon bottle. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it because I have my filter on, but it's a gallon and it tells me how much to drink each, uh, every couple hours. And um, I found that for me, I, it works because if I realize I'm behind then I'm like <sighs> sipping lots of water. Um, and I guess, I don't know what else is that? Anything else I need to add, Diane? Um, I think that was pretty good. I One thing I noticed with you was just your confidence has just, go, it went from, you know, low numbers up to like 10. I mean, like, you yes. know, when we finished the last challenge. So I was really proud of, of just how you just kind of like, I don't know, your mindset shifted. And so I was exactly, that was really exactly. fun. Yes. Uh, agreed. I, I did. I became more confident in working out. I came, became more confident in the food and, and just making some of these lifestyle changes. Um, and I actually um, have decided to stick to that vegetarian uh, lifestyle uh, with a little bit of fish because uh, we live in Hawaii and my husband is struggling with uh, me not eating any meat. And I, there was a time I had no beef or pork but I would at least do chicken. And now I'm like, no, not even chicken. He goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And I know that you have inspired your husband um, and your daughter and like just the people around you even with um, what you've done over the past two challenges. So thank you, April. So next, I'm going to go on to Sandy, who's next here. Um, Sandy, you can either unmute yourself or I will do that for you. Um, let's see, where are you? Maybe, maybe I will. Oh, you're the iPhone, got it. I was trying to figure out where your name was. Um, I want to unmute. Oh, there. Oh, did I get it? Okay. Hi. Go ahead, Sandy. My why, you mean? Yeah, just share about your why, why you, you know, your why with the, ex with the challenge and your experience. My I was really thankful that Diane asked me way back in September because I was ready for a change and I didn't know what kind of change I needed, but I was ready for something. I was creeping up to over 250, up to 300, and I was just hurting all over. And, and I know I was eating all the wrong foods and stuff, but, and I was just miserable all the way around. Anyway, and I thought, sure, I could try this because seemed like nothing else was working and it's been wonderful it's been wonderful and learning how to get back into the kitchen and eating good food plant-based food healthier foods and I don't know just learning a whole bunch of stuff and exercising so that's my biggest challenge is exercising. I've never been a person to exercise, but getting out there, doing it and working it, it has been great. So. Awesome. Tell me, can you tell a little bit about your results that you've seen so far, Sandy? Yes, I've lost, I've lost 43 pounds so far since September and changing clothes to smaller sizes had been great and cutting down on some medicine that I don't need anymore. That's been wonderful. And, um, um, what about, 
What about your pain? Can you talk about that? My pain level has really gone down. I still have pain, but it's nothing like it was before. I can go up and down the steps now and um, just doing things that I haven't been able to do for years had been wonderful. Great. So yeah. I remember Sandy, when she started, you were having back pain and knee pain and foot pain pretty significantly that was affecting your quality of life. And just this week when we, we did your survey, um, other, you, you weren't really complaining too much other than your foot pain a little bit, but that seems to have improved quite a bit since, I mean, you're now walking hills and doing all sorts of stuff in the snow. And so that is just awesome. Plus you survived um, COVID when you got that too. Do you wanna tell, tell us more about that? I came down with the COVID November, the first of November, and it seemed like every day I was spiking a fever up to 102 and over and any food and water, anything that I put up to my face, I was gagging. I couldn't, I couldn't get nothing down. The only thing I could really get down was seven up and it would take me three days to drink a can of seven up. That's how, that's how much fluid I got down me. Well, towards the end, I ended up in the emergency room, uh, dehydrated and found out I had pneumonia on top of the COVID. And they gave me fluids and they gave me what I was told it was called BAM. It's for COVID people to help, help boost you. And I was there for four hours and then I came back home and finished recovering. But it was, it was the worst. I, never been so sick so were you December. yeah were you grateful because i remember you talking about you were glad that you started this challenge before that happened yeah do you feel like that, that made a difference for you i think it had that, you know i would on i would on the road of getting healthier and i felt like being healthier that kind of helped me because Beforehand, I was learning to drink that gallon of water and I, I felt like I was, had some good stuff in me and then I got so sick and I was kind of living off of that, I think. I don't know. Yeah, so. I was grateful that you had, you had already lost about 30 pounds prior to that happening. So I was grateful that you had already boosted, you know, your immune system so much with with your diet and your lifestyle changes that you were making so so thank you so much for sharing sandy um let's see i do have another challenger here um you you can go ahead and mute yourself or um un, or i can mute you sandy but elizabeth would you be willing to share a little bit about your experience definitely um, so just a little bit about me. I'm a nurse and a health coach by background. So I coming into this program, I already had the knowledge of how to eat healthy, um, how to keep that inflammation down and everything. But I have struggled with my weight for a long time. And I was telling Diane yesterday that I'm currently at the weight now that I was when I was pregnant with twins. And if you've ever been pregnant, had kids, you know, that kind of messes with your mind. And um, so a lot of what I'm struggling with is in my thought process, not so much in my physical abilities, but um, I decided to join the January program. So that was my first program. and I joined because I needed to do something for me. I felt like um, as a health coach, I really wasn't, you know, I had the nutrition down, but I wasn't looking the part. I didn't feel like I was being honest in how I was serving the people that were looking to me for information. Um, and fitness is not something that I really enjoy doing. <laughs> I know it's good for me and I like taking a walk or whatever, but doing the um, weight training and the cardio training has never really been something that I've been great at. So that was where I wanted to go with this challenge was to increase my fitness. Um, I really like structured programs. 
they keep me on track. You know, I can say, okay, Monday we're starting a program and I know that it's five weeks. I will be good for five weeks. But when I'm out of that structure, I lose track. Um, and I don't really put, make it as much of a priority. So I really love that with why movement. And, you know, I realized that coaches need coaches and I loved having Diane on my side. Um, I made, Let's see. So for the five weeks, I was really consistent with my workouts and my nutrition. And, you know, I saw the results. I saw the scale go down a little bit, probably not as much as I had hoped, but it did move in the right direction. But the bigger thing to me was that I saw my body fat decrease and my muscle mass increase. And really health to me is about being strong in who I am, not so much about what I look like or what other people think I look like, but I want to feel good in my body. You know, I want to feel like I'm strong and I can do things. We live on a farm. I need to lift 50 pound bags of animal food. So those were my goals. And I'm happy to say that I reached those goals and I'm starting the March challenge with Diane on Monday and I reset my goals and I'm excited to see where I go from here. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And yeah, I'm excited. Elizabeth's been coaching me too. So this last challenge, she's really kept me accountable. And um, it's just to me, having always had a coach um, in college athletics and high school and club sports, you know, it was something that I really enjoyed. Um, and I didn't realize how much having that strength and conditioning coach made a difference and until I didn't have it. And then I had to force myself <laughs> to do it. So that accountability piece, I think is really one of the beauties of this program. So right now, I just wanted to open it up to questions. So feel free to unmute yourself. Um, if anybody has any questions, I want to just give you an opportunity to ask. Can I just add something onto that? Sure. So it's great to have a coach, but I love the community of Y Movement because um, there's so many people supporting you in your health journey. It's not just your coach. There's other coaches that are supporting you, people that are struggling with their own issues that are supporting you. And, you know, that community and that accountability is huge. I totally agree. 100%. I would echo the same. Uh, other thing I wanted to add on is, you know, I had like Sandy, the same sort of knee pains, not so much back pain, but definitely knee and um, feet. And being on this health journey and going with Diane and, you know, doing all this stuff has really helped that I, I actually weighed myself on Thursday for 275. So I'm excited. That's way down from where I started. <laughs> yeah, that's about almost 20 pounds. Good job. Yeah. Yay. So that's excellent. Thank you for sharing. Does anybody else have any questions? I just want to make sure if you have questions about anything that we answer those. No. Okay. All right. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time um, on a Saturday morning to join us and listen to these powerful stories. And thank you ladies for sharing and being so authentic. I know it's sometimes hard to share about our personal health journeys. And so I really appreciate it because I think that they're all so powerful and it can make such a difference in other people's lives. So thank you all. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. That's all. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> thank you very much for doing this. You're welcome. And I see you're recording it. So is that